So this is my working PC, well, an AIO actually. And it only has eight gigabytes of RAM. And uh, you can kind of see that is not enough. Like I even opened Firefox, I have multiple tabs up here. And here we go, even more RAM, 6.5, this is where it stands. Basically 86% of it in use, so uh, yeah. So it needs more RAM. And I happen to bought, to have bought away, well you can see it here, I'll show you. As for the system specs, this is the CPU an AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 5625U for Radeon graphics, 8GB RAM, SSD from Intel, 512GB, which is more than enough to, for this PC, and, well, basically a laptop and a PC form factor. Well, for, for what I needed here, I'm not a huge AIO fan, but for what I needed here, it, it's actually perfect. Not much space occupied. So, let's get uh, inside it. And here we have it. I've never disassembled an I.O. before. Hey, yo! But, uh, well, it's a first time for everything. It has some small screws down here. Normal screws. I mean, let me show you. See, like I said, small screws. One, two, three, and four this way. So, mm. oh, here are the speakers. Okay, let's see what happens. Check with this thing. Uh huh. Okay. So it's coming out. Pushing from the bottom to the top, basically. But how is it coming out? Is the screen coming out or is the back? Nope, the screen. The front display is coming out. Hmm. They lay it down. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see what's happening here inside. Any connectors? Oh yeah, there are some connectors. So we have this connector first, which is the front USB, or something from the front, then this connector here on the motherboard. Okay, and all that's left is the display itself. Okay, right here. This is the first AIO that I ever disassembled. See, it has two clamps here. I think I have to push them simultaneously, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the display only and the front facing camera. And here is the basically the PC assembly. <laughs> now let's see here. Okay now. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to take this cover off then. What kind of cable this is? I'm afraid to bend it more. So I wonder if it has a removable CPU. Man, that would be awesome. The first thing that I'm gonna do is a Ryzen 7 or 9. Well, 7. Nah. But, nah. Oh, come on. But, nah. That might be a bit overkill for a working PC. Well, working for a. Yeah. Well, hello! Is this a SATA port? Aha! Uh -huh. Not needing it though. First off, where did that screw fell? Right here. Hey, you have to say down, PC. Now, let me try to make some sense what, what's in here. The fan, yeah. I'll blow some air on it, but it's not bad. So this should be the Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. Mac ID. Where's the SSD? 
Where's the ram? Uh, don't tell me I have to take the motherboard out. Don't you dare tell me that. Maybe it's underneath here. Oh, thank God. Here's the... Here's the RAM. Oh, it's a Samsung. But where's the SSD now? Yoohoo, SSD. Yeah. Ah, and this is the... Well, some cooling it has. Great. The, the CPU, it's uh, soldered. So, not removable. Although, where's the SSD? <coughs> is it on the back? Mm. It means the SSD is on the back. I'm not going to take the motherboard out because I'm not going to change the SSD. There's no need for me to do that. However, I do need to get my RAM. One second. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe you also have a all-in-one like this and maybe you want to change the SSD. So, let's make it a teardown. I'm just going to show you what's inside. To take this ribbon cable off, you have to pull this uh, plastic thingy inwards. Like so, see? I pulled it to, towards me, and this thing should slide out. Easy. And it's out. See what, see what it has on the ribbon cable here? These things, <laughs> I was afraid that I might have damaged it, but no, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Oh, come on. I want to unstick only you. What kind of adhesive is this? Ugh. Okay. Now, let me unstick the un let me unplug these. Well, it's written on them which one is uh, white, which one is black, so it should not be a problem. Also, this connector here. These are the speakers. As it comes in here, you see. This is the CPU fan. Let me disconnect it from here as well, pulling it down. Okay. Now I have to take the cooler itself out. And that's it. <laughs> it has only this screw and it's shoved in there. Now all that's left is the plain old motherboard. Now these are different screws than the whole rest. I see a screw here from that appears to be well screwed from the back to the front. Pretty sure here is where the SSD is. I don't know, like this or like this. It's it's clearly the SSD screw. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is. Let's make it like a bet. And yeah, don't tell me that this one also holds it. No, it's not okay. And this is the CPU cooler. I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to change the paste. Any other screw? Oh, we, oh wait a minute. I forgot about this cable. Hoo -wee. Easy. Okay. Ah. These, <laughs> there are the back ports here, the the back USBs and LAN and all of that. Okay. Told you. Here is the NVMe SSD. So, so sorry, like this. Should be an Intel. Intel SSD. 67, 670 P series. Right, and you know the drill to take the SSD out, unscrew this, and that's it. Here's the BIOS uh, battery, and that's it. This is the motherboard, plain old motherboard. Again, I'm not taking the fat, the cooler out because there's no need. You can kind of guess it has four screws. Take it out. Here's the CPU. Now let me put this here and blow some air on this bad boy. Oh, son of a I definitely needed to blow some air here on the RAM slot because if it has some dust particles it may not uh, properly connect to the RAM and uh, give you errors. It happened to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I have to somehow center it in the USB ports and push it in. 
Ah, ok. It was faster to put it in than to take it out. Bruts. Ok, that's one. Now to connect all of these back in their place. Starting with the most important part, the speakers, of course. Definitely not the fan or anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Connected. Right? Alright, good. For the fan, shoving this in here and this right here. Okay. okay. It? Nah, now it's connected. Okay. Now, uh, for the thing that I disassembled for. Well, this one is a Samsung. I don't think it's going to mind if I put a Kingston Fury in it. But because it's the same specs. Almost. I think. I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to put it anyway. should work okay if it doesn't work I have to disassemble it again I'm gonna be mad but it is what it is but it should not ask me to disassemble it again it better not and then this shoving this back in its place closing it is it straight yeah just to be sure yeah it's in its place. Good. On. All that's left is the tricky part, the display, that being. So, let me put it down here like... Oh, mother... I forgot to put the RAM cover. Not that we actually need it, but... <sighs> to put this stupid... I was looking at these things and I was wondering what was... What was their purpose? And yeah, here's their freaking purpose. Take there. In this place, now. What? Well, my fault for forgetting. No. It was not in my face, you know, it was behind it. <laughs> Yeah, and I completely forgot about it. Well, it happens. Good thing I did not put the screen in because then um, I might not have continued with it. I'll just not put it in that to be it. But anyway, put the screws in and be right back. All right. Now, let's lay it down. Giggity. And uh, put the display in. Can you see it? Maybe you can, maybe you don't. Anyway, I'm plugging it in. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Click and... Click, okay. Now... Put this here, put that sticker on. We have this cable, which is, oh boy. Uh, I have to put it down anyway. So. Here are the two connectors. I don't know if you can see them. Here and here. This one needs to go. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, no. Is this one here? Sorry, sorry. So we have these two connectors. This one here. Okay, this one connected. Clicked. 
and this one over here. Well, did the clicking sound? Anything else? No, that's kind of it. Let's push it in place, make it click. Now all that's left for me to put in are these screws and that would be it. And four. And that's it. It's assembled. I mean I'm hoping something good. This is the wireless mouse. Actually I'm gonna use the one that I have here. But I'm gonna put this one in as well. In. And well, turn it on. We see the LED turned on here. Okay. 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 Now let's check device, actually test manager, performance, 15.4 gigabytes. There we go. Good. Now, let's open Firefox and see what happens now. 4.6, 4.7. Hmm. Oh wait, the tabs weren't opened yet. <laughs> 5.2, 5.8, 5.8, yeah, 6.3, mm -hmm. yeah, and I also have other programs running in the background when I'm using it, actually no, home, blah, 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 so anyway, yeah, performance, good, we have enough. Well, that's what, that was my disassembly video of the ASUS uh, AIO CPU. Hope you found it useful in case you have one of these and want to upgrade it. So only the, the only upgradable thing is the RAM. It supports maximum 32 gigs. 16 is enough for me, so yeah. Uh, you can change the SSD, the M2 NVMe SSD. And it also has a... Uh, if I turn it around as me here on this side it has a, a SATA port for a normal SSD. So you can also put a SATA SSD, but I don't see the reason for that since you have the NVMe <laughs> slot on the back. But you have to take the motherboard off. Just like modern laptops, you have to take the motherboard out for any update or well, component change basically. Again, thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share my content. It helps a lot and I'll see you next time and I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and all the best. Bye.